Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. We're already kicking off the vlog with a mess because I have no idea where I parked my car. I am now just, you know, walking around the parking lot super casually trying to find my vehicle. You guys wanna know what the most embarrassing thing about the situation is? This is not my first time here and I don't know why I'm lost today of all days. Oh wait, I found my car. I don't know why I would have been lost today of all days. This is literally like my 10th time here. If I was lost the first time, understandable. But like, if I was never ever lost and then now suddenly lost at the 10th time, something is wrong with me. Anyway, I found my car, so here we go. I have finally found my car. So I just went to the dentist and it was just very quick because basically what happened, actually I have a whole life update, so I'm gonna start driving actually. I think it is time for me to tell you because you guys are gonna find out soon. You might as well hear it from me. I make it sound so serious. I am not pregnant or and married or you know, whatever. Even have a boyfriend actually. Guys, I am getting Invisalign. <gasps> and I'm gonna explain why I'm getting Invisalign. Ugh. I do not want to get Invisalign because basically it's obviously I think a whole year of worth of treatment and I actually find out tomorrow exactly how long the treatment is going to be because tomorrow that's when the Invisaligns come in. So I guess maybe I'll take you guys with me. Like I said, I just came from the dentist. I have never gotten a cavity for the last maybe like 14 years to 18 years. All of a sudden in the last 365 days, your girl got four or five cavities. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm so confused. My oral hygiene in the last 365 days, if anything, has gotten better. So I don't understand why I got cavities. It turns out we learned that my jaw grew and because my jaw grew, it shifted my teeth and then my teeth shifted. There are a bunch of gaps everywhere. So if you guys have been following me since day one, if you are like, why do you suddenly have like a gap in the middle of your teeth? It's cause my jaw grew. And then because my jaw grew, it shifted all my teeth. And then the new placement of where all my teeth are basically rubbed off the old fillings of my old cavity. And because of that, it gave me cavities because the fillings came out and like it made it easier for all the bacteria or whatever to come in. Now I have to get Invisalign. And also, no, it is not just a cosmetic thing because if you guys didn't know, Invisalign is fucking expensive. It's like $7,000, okay? If it was just cosmetic, I would have gone watching veneers, okay? And not have to do something every single day for a full year because veneers, I can just go in, get my procedure and have beautiful straight teeth and come out. But no, I had to get Invisalign because not only is it a cosmetic thing, but more importantly, I was told by my dentist and orthodontist that if I don't fix it now, based on where my teeth placement is, I also have a crossbite. I will have like some sort of, I don't know, just like detrimental effect as like an old person. I plan to live a long time, okay? And I love eating. So we all know that I need to have great teeth so I can continue eating until I'm old. All I'm trying to do, you guys, is trying to deliver on this car driving vlog thingy because you guys have asked me for this type of vlog. So I'm just trying to spit out things that you guys would find entertaining. You guys know that I launched a podcast and if you didn't, I'm surprised because I've been quite annoying. So how do you not know? But anyway, if you guys didn't know, I have a podcast with my best friend. It's been launched for about two weeks now. We now have about six episodes. If you're watching this, maybe even seven episodes. So far, it's been great. It's honestly been so much fun filming with my best friend. The topics are extremely hilarious. The other thing I did want to mention is that I started to host rooms in Clubhouse. So if you guys do not follow me, make sure you guys follow me on Clubhouse. It's pretty much the same username, Getaway. We host in our first room mostly like between me and Teresa it just started off with the two of us and we just did like this girl talk topic our very first clubhouse room I thought it was like pretty okay we had about like five people I know it's not a lot but we also did this super spontaneously literally last minute we're like let's just host a random room right now so then five people surprisingly came on and then one of them was a oh my god please do not tell me you're gonna just stop here forever I hate my life come on dude you got this. Anyway, as I was saying, we hosted our first clubhouse 
room and we were just talking about my dating life because as you guys know if you guys listen to the podcast Teresa has not been dating I've literally been carrying the whole dating stories on my fucking back and hence why my back hurts this girl does not date around so I have to be the one who tells all the dating stories anyway point is so we were talking about the dating stories and then eventually this guy actually came on so this guy came on and he ended up asking us like a bunch of questions regarding dating or like how to get girls and stuff like that we were like answering all these questions super no filter for example one of the questions he asked us was if we're at a club like do I just buy the girl a drink like right away or whatever and I was like you know what for our sake as women's sake yes that's fucking amazing because every time a guy buys us a drink not only will we take your drink but we will literally convince you to buy all of our friends drinks and then after that we'll just literally leave but I was like but for your sake I think it's better if you just like strike up a conversation first because if you already start off the entire encounter with buying her a drink people are gonna take advantage so we gave like advice like that this guy found it so helpful he literally grabbed his notebook and started taking notes so we were just like okay maybe we should host another room and this time just call it what it is which is like giving men advice from like a girl's perspective after dating for a couple of months there are so many basic things that guys just don't know about and you're just like what this is just common sense or things you should have been taught but okay you guess you don't know this room i feel like is gonna be extremely funny it's tonight at 7 p.m not that by the time you guys are watching this you guys will be able to see it depending on how successful this room is we might host more so that's why i'm telling you guys now follow us on clubhouse because we're hilarious and between me and Teresa, we even like reenacted conversations like at the club between me and her she would be like hey baby and i'd be like hey so like walk me to my car like etc so it's really fun i really think you guys should join us unless if you already Already had enough of us from our podcast but yeah that's pretty much it and I will bring you guys along for what I do next hi guys a happy Saturday oh my god this morning I ended up sleeping in so much I think I woke up at like 11 a.m. my friend Eric and Jess you guys have not seen in a really long time asked me if I wanted to just go pick up the pineapple buns so yes we are gonna be safe we're just gonna go pick it up be at the restaurant and just like the pickup it's all the way in richmond honestly this is all because you know what all my croissants were so yesterday you guys i'm just kidding oh my god don't just say that if you guys follow me on instagram i asked a few days ago about any recommendations for pineapple buns if you guys don't know what pineapple buns they are these like asian buns that have like butter inside actually the butter is optional it's also just called pineapple because it looks like a pineapple at the top but it has really nothing to do with pineapple like it does not taste like pineapples you can add butter in the middle and it makes it taste so good it is honestly one of my favorite treats but the thing is it's really hard to get it's even harder to get than an almond croissant because these pineapple buns especially getting good ones that's where the difficulty lies because it's pretty common you can get it in like tnt or wherever else for it to actually taste good is very very hard there's only literally out of a hundred percent of pineapple buns probably only like three of them taste good like three percent i'm not even joking and then only like two percent would taste good with the butter so i asked you guys and everyone in vancouver recommended this place in richmond called lido's or lido i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right but there was like no competition like everyone voted this place eric is driving all the way from downtown i'm driving all the way from burnaby we are out here in richmond we're already here in richmond just to pick up these pineapple buns and if you think this is extreme if you think me driving over half an hour to come to richmond to pick up a freaking pineapple bun is extreme then clearly you have not seen my vlog on going all the way to portland for the day i will leave a picture here you guys can go check that one out as well i feel like me and eric and jess doing just like these really crazy spontaneous things and extreme trips for very very little payoff is not uncommon in fact, I'm kind of like talking to this guy right now and then he's like, you're coming all the way to Richmond just for a pineapple bun. It's like, bruh, you need to get on my level because if you're not cool with this shit, then this ain't gonna work out. Not like this is gonna work out anyway, not because he's bad or whatever. I just like don't really want a boyfriend right now. Anyway, I will let you guys know when we are there. We're finally here and we are at 
Lido, Lido, is it Lido? Lido, right? We were gonna consider potentially getting something else, but it's really, really busy. So I think we're just gonna pick up some pineapple buns and leave. Let's go. Hey guys, so today is the day that I've been prepping you guys for and also myself mentally. I unfortunately have to get Invisalign today. So this is the last time you're gonna see my bare teeth. <laughs> I'm actually dying. Okay, sorry, I need to go now. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like ah, before I get the uh, bridges on. So if you guys think that like Invisalign is just the invisible retainer thingy on your teeth, you are right. It's just that it literally, oh my God, they are calling me already. Anyway, as I was saying, it is, oh my God, what is wrong with me? It is going to be the last time you see me without any type of like bridges or anything in my teeth. So moving forward, if videos become a little bit more slurred or lispy, now you know why. So I am finally here and we are getting the stuff installed into my teeth and there's quite a bit. There's quite a bit of bridges. So last time. Oh, this is a great look. <laughs> Hi guys! Oh my god! If I sound different, it is because I have my Invisaligns in. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look in one second, but I have a lisp now. I'm literally shook. I can't believe I have braces or basically Invisalign. This is what they look like from afar. Can you guys tell? I don't know. Also, this is how fucked up my teeth are. Even though visually they looked okay, they even installed elastic bands in the back. I don't know if you guys can see right now. I was telling the girl because like she was putting so many attachments to my face that I was like, do you realize I literally have no boyfriend or people that could turn into boyfriends? Oh my God, they just spit. And now I'm really not getting one. Look at this. The back of my teeth, I just guys also it's so high maintenance the elastic bands need to be changed every six hours that's like four times a day i feel like i'm gonna train myself to be an even better speaker i swear to god because with this lisp that i now have oh my god ew is that what i look like when i laugh <gasps> i'm just gonna keep my mask on now like thank god for covid with the normalization of masks thank god no one needs to know that i have invisalign except the fact that i'm broadcasting it to everybody we know so it's really funny because my best friend this is not Teresa's best friend this is another best friend liz i can't even say her name liz my god liz l-i-z okay that's her name she's like such a big fan of the bachelorette and the bachelor franchise that she signed me up to be a contestant on the bachelor and i literally told her i was like okay first of all i'm not down to go to the bachelor anyway because like i can't even like all the guys on a dating app what makes her think i'm gonna like the one and only option they're gonna give me come on but anyway, regardless, even if I wanted to go on The Bachelor, I cannot go on The Bachelor looking like this. I've had this planned for so long with my Invisalign, so I knew that this was happening. So I was like, if you think I'm going on The Bachelor with my Invisalign and then getting slaver bullied, you are, you are out of your mind. Like, I'm not doing this. That's my announcement. I got Invisalign. I'm not going on The Bachelor. Maybe next year. I asked them how long this treatment plan is and they said that it would be 55 weeks. Assuming I continue to wear my braces or Invisalign, whatever, more than 22 hours per day. 22 hours, my friends. I am such a slow eater. Like, I can't eat in two hours. Even if I eat fast. I can't eat three meals in two hours, okay? I need like two hours per meal. Anyway, so this is my life now. If I am single until I'm 40, this is one of the main reasons, okay? You guys are here witnessing why this is happening. That's pretty much all I had to say. I am now on my way home now, and I think I'm gonna surprise my parents because they have no idea I was gonna do this today, so. I mean, to be honest, I didn't really know that I was going to do this because I had this appointment set, but they were like, the trays probably won't come in that day. So I was like, okay, I call in this morning and I'm like, so did they come in? They're like, yes. I'm like, of course they did. So anyway, so I will talk to you guys later. I will probably see you guys in the next vlog because I'm just trying to make these vlogs short and sweet. Here's to telling my dates that I now have Invisalign and having everyone drop off the roster, but that's fine. You 
you know what? That's life. Okay, bye guys.